Always a great time this time of morning to get inspired by the youth and what's coming and what they're doing. Joining me here to talk about the way they're going to impact the world, Grant and Nivea, part of the Golden Rule, the Arizona Golden Rule Educational Experience. Nivea, Grant, welcome. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. having us. So, viewers are used to seeing the, the Golden Rule segment we do featuring students, but this is something new. You guys actually took uh, the opportunity to go into your school and, and ask questions of your classmates. What is the video we're about to see? What did you guys ask your classmates about? Right, so this first segment was about social media and the interaction that our peers have with social media. So we asked them questions about if they've seen any offensive content, and if so, how do they use the golden rule to kind of address that? So that was what we mainly focused on. And Grant, how, segment. excuse me, Nivia, Grant, how receptive did you find your classmates to this conversation? Oh, very. I feel like many people um, that are like our age on social media are aware of kind of the tribalism that we see um, with its usage, and they want to go and correct that. You know, we want to have more civility, compassion online, um, and they did offer a lot of great suggestions for ways that we can employ um, that sort of the ideals of the ideals of the golden rule uh, with regards to social media. Which seems like such a need at this point, because as we talked about before, the golden rule applying it in real life is hard enough, but social yeah. media, almost no one does that. So this <laughs> yeah. was a really interesting subject. Yeah. We'll take a look at the video right now. I'm Grant. And I'm Nivia. And, and we, we are, are live from, from Perry, Perry High, High School. School. Today, we are interviewing fellow teenagers on the Golden Rule and particularly how it pertains to social media. Given the widespread use of social media, along with the normalization of conflict and offensive content online, we wanted to interview fellow teenagers and seek their opinions on the subject. Anything that like involves religion or like race, I think is in poor taste. Or like anything about like history, maybe just like slavery and like the Holocaust stuff like that. Sometimes there's like racist stuff, like people just come at others for like their race on social media, or people do a lot of stereotyping on social media, kind of just make fun of like a general group of people. People comparing each other. I don't feel like we should compare each other to other people. Throwing insults back and forth. Usually it's in a fair taste, in, in good taste, but there are chances where it's more as used for hazing and bullying. We become more hating towards each other. Literally someone attacking someone else. And it's not as friendly. Seeing a community of people hating on that group. And if they're part of that group, they feel like all their peers hate them. And that's not something that we should be doing as, you know, the class of 2020 or the class of any year, you know? Um, it affects their self-esteem. It affects how they feel about their Yourself, it just affects them personally and I don't feel like that's a good thing. Like be educated before you speak something that might t offend somebody so like if you wouldn't want somebody like saying something that's just completely wrong or not knowing all the facts about something that you like then you probably shouldn't say it yourself about something else. If everyone thought about what would happen if someone said it to them, what they want to say to them, you know, thinking about how that would affect you first before you say it, I think is very important because if you think it would hurt you, why are you saying it to someone else? It is our job to kind of tell those kids that they are worth something and just because someone's making fun of them online does not mean that they're not valid. I think that it's easy to say things to other people online because you're not in person. I think that you should only say things that you're comfortable, that you would say to them to their face in person. If you want respect, I feel like you should treat others with respect. So you should present yourself as a respectful person on social media in order to get that respect back. I think just respecting everybody and knowing that everything online, like, it never goes away. So just being respectful because it makes you and the other person look bad. Just treat others how you want to be treated. Yeah. Great, yeah, thank you. That was awesome stuff, you guys. Now, what did you find, or, or, or your classmates, do you plan on spending more or less time on social media after having this conversation? So I don't think it was necessarily about the time, but more of how they spend their time while they're on social media. So we found that when we interviewed the, um, our peers, as you saw, that their main goal um, after hearing about the golden rule was to really try and just promote that sense of civility and respect um, on social media. and 
use their time to really make an impact and form a good connection with their peers. Yeah, we're not trying to necessarily um, just only focus on the bad that can come out of social yeah. media. I think there's a lot of good too. Um, so maybe encourage people to maybe spend um, the time that they already do on social media and make uh, more positive, uh, make it have a more positive influence. Yeah. Definitely something everybody needs more of on social media. Nivia Grant, really appreciate. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.